All right. Well, first off, the lighting isn't working, so bear in mind, I don't know how dark this video is going to be. I'm going to watch it over, but I am going to release this no matter how the lighting, how bad the lighting is. So sorry for that. However, I am really excited today because a fragrance I've been dying to get my hands on has finally come in the mail. Not a full bottle. I do have a miniature that came in of a very difficult fragrance to find. And just for purposes sake, I will cover the name. Um, I got this off of a trusted eBay seller. So fight me in the comments if you don't like eBay for fragrances. I've bought a bunch of fragrances off of eBay. And I will tell you for the most part, they are legit. I have gotten a couple problems with some fragrances in the past. One time, I think Forever Lux, I bought a bottle of Ultra Red Man and it broke on the way here and they had to refund me. They refunded me, so I'm not completely mad. And a couple other times, there was a little bit of delay in shipping that I didn't really get a notification on, but it did come eventually. And the fragrances have always been legit. I guess it's just a shipping problem, but that's for every single delivery service. So in here, I have a limited edition release from Dior. If you know where I'm going with this, let me find a sharp object. I do not want to get out of my seat right now. I'm a little lazy. I just came back from the gym uh, at Barnes Center. I hit, or actually, we sparred in Flanagan and... After that, I played basketball for a couple hours. So I am actually pretty excited. Even though this is just a miniature, it's a fragrance I've been dying to try. I doubt I came with the box. but he Oh, it did come with the box. Oh, this is pretty sweet, actually. I like this. So this is a 10 mil miniature. I got it for about 25 bucks. I consider this more so a sample than anything else. A sample with the legit bottle, hopefully. And at least the box came. I did not expect the box to be here. But from Dior, this is Dior Om O. This is a 10 milliliter sample. I'm surprised. All the infos at the bottom. I think this is a 2015 batch. It has the five at the bottom. Let's see. You got the back. Buffon Christian Dior. All the details like the address and all that seem legit so far obviously i wasn't around collecting fragrances back when the oro mo was readily available at macy's i think this was a macy's exclusive but to have a miniature even though oh this is really cool actually i like this um the cap doesn't really move let's see and it didn't come on the right way so here's here's the little miniature this is 10 milliliters it kind of makes sense because I've seen my five milliliter samples aren't this thick, but they are very skinny and poor. So let's open this thing up. Let's see. Open up, motherfucker. Ah. Also sucks for me because I my hand is kind of jacked. My right hand is jacked up because I when I was sparring with the body shots only and I hit the guy on his elbow a few times. And one time my wrist folded in. Okay. Oh, this is a screw cap. That's why. Oh, it's a dabber. Oh, that makes a lot of sense as to why this thing wasn't opening the way I thought. Okay, well, a little change of plan. Uh, I, I, not the biggest fan of dabbers, but this is what we're working with. This is a ten mil sample. Um, so let me just smell it out. Okay, so this is a very fresh iris. This is what it's supposed to be. Still powdery, but very fresh and very invigorating. Um, yeah, I wish I had a, I wish it was a spray, but it makes sense. Like building an atomizer for this would be, it'd be kind of complicated. Let's try this. So a lot of dabber. I've seen some sellers on eBay with bottles of Dior Mo. I just, yeah, I could smell it. Very powdery. So this definitely smells like the Orome. Actually, yeah, let me pull those out really quick. Kind of compare the three that I own. So the 
the iris in here does smell legit. It's that makeup-y, powdery iris, but a lot fresher. So let me grab the other two. So these are official bottles. Uh, legendary Hall of Famer Dior Homme in Thorns. Right here, this is a full 100, well, not full 100 milliliter, but this was a 100 milliliter bottle. You could tell it's an older formulation. The font very similar to the one in Dior Homme. The cap as well. And the batch code at the bottom is a 2016 batch, I think 6T01, something like that. 6T01, yeah, there's 6T01. And then over here is a Dior Ohm, the original Dior Ohm. Not the silver stem, but the formulation after that. This is the one that I have. And I want to say this is a 7 batch. Yeah, 7T02. So this was, I believe, a 2017 batch. I tracked the batch on the on the Dior Intense that I have, and that is a 2016 for sure. Yeah, so Dior Omen, Dior Intense, a lot sweeter than this. This, in my opinion, would be perfect for the summertime and the springtime. Um, yeah, I could smell it. It is very, very fresh. Very fresh. Not what you expect. I mean, I guess the namesake makes sense, the Orum O, so it's going to be a lighter take on the original. Yeah, very powdery. Um, I hate dabbing, though. Uh, well, I mean, I have no other way to do this. I'm going to have to dab it on my... On my uh, I have to dab it on my... On my forearm. I like to test on my forearm. I hate testing on my hand, and I want to get an ample amount. I don't... I really wish this had an atomizer though. That kind of sucks. And yeah, that should be ample enough for now. 10 mils is plenty. I really like the bottle. The bottle's really nice. Even for a miniature. The bottle's fantastic. This is the bottle again. So let me compare the two. Yeah, so this is very, very fresh. I want to say there might be an additional violet note too. It's giving a different powdery appeal. Obviously, the iris is still prominent and present. I don't know the notes, to be honest with you. I'll look up the notes in a little bit. I just want to see what I get at the initial. The iris is very present, though. Some type of light citrus kick at the initial opening. But the iris is still very present. Actually, let me dab a little more. See, the problem with dabbing, I guess it, it depends what you prefer, but with dabbing, you have to keep going back and forth, back and forth. I'm familiar with dabbers, but I don't want to put it on my arm all at once and then have it spill on accident. Okay, so look at the look at this. So 50 or 10 mil. This is the 50 mil. Let me put the 10 mil down. 50 mil. 100 mil. And I am dying to grab the Orum Parfum. Obviously, I it's going to be very difficult for me to grab it. But the reason why I grabbed this is because this was about 25 bucks. And so here's the Orum compared to the Omen Toss. So it's really cool. I have three of them now. Three of the original six because there's Parfum. Then Dior Homme Sport and then Dior Homme Cologne. I really wanted Dior Homme Cologne for a very long time. Dior Homme Sport really didn't speak to me. Dior Homme Parfum, if you're in the fragrance community, you know about Dior Homme Parfum. You understand how difficult it is to grab if you're from the United States. And that's where I'm at right now. If you're in Europe, I think they have it still selling. I, mean, I could be wrong, but that's what I heard the last time I heard someone talk about Dior Homme Parfum. Yeah, very fresh iris. I want to say there's a violet accord. Maybe a little bit of lavender. Um, What else do I get out of this? I'm assuming bergamot and... What other citrus does it remind me of? Maybe like a... Maybe like a citrus leaf, like an orange leaf or a lemon leaf, something like that. That's what I get. It's a little green. Not what I really expected. I expected it to be fresh, but not green. So, yeah, fresh, powdery, green. 
light. Well, obviously, I have a dabber, so that's another problem. I, it's not like a spray, and I probably will get a spray bottle in not so distant future. I just want to conserve some money right now and be able to afford it comfortably. I'm not in the place right now, so this 10 mil will have to do. And because it, I am in Syracuse, this, I'm not going to be able to wear this outside for quite a while. We're about to hit the dead of winter. It's been fairly relaxed for now. I think when I left, it was about 12 degrees. So I was expecting it to start getting colder, colder, colder. And it did for a little bit. There was a storm that came in a couple days after I left. And it was about one degree. That was the lowest I ever saw it. But then it started getting warmer for the winter time in Syracuse. So, yeah, it hasn't really been getting cold, cold. At least what I consider like really cold is sub freezing temperatures, 32 Fahrenheit, zero Celsius. So it hasn't really got there yet, but it's starting to creep down there again. And we're supposed to get like 15 degrees next week at like nighttime. So we're about to hit the dead of winter again. Last year, we were pretty much under cloudy skies for a good three to four. Actually, not even. Our winter started in November last year and then ended in April. Yeah, like six months from November, December, January, February, March. Yeah, six months, six, five and a half months, technically, because like towards the tail end of April, it started getting a little warmer compared to negative. Like it got to, I want to say maybe like, the 30s the 40s so that was like a springtime weather quote unquote and the last two weeks of school was like the last time i saw the sun here last year so I'll tell you for what you will i'm not gonna be able to wear this out in public i cannot really do an official review for a while on this but i'm just so happy i got it. i got this in even though yeah it is a dabber so it sucks fresh i'll i have to keep doing this shit back and forth it sucks balls but what can you do? This is I'm I'm working with what I got and I like it. I like it a lot. It is the this is what a lot of people say Givenchy gentlemen eau de toilette intense can do, just what Dior Om O did, which is basically that warmer weather type of iris kick if that's what you're looking for. So that that should be good enough. That's about maybe half a mil. That I used right now. Oh yeah, that's that's great. That's great right there. Um, it's starting to get a little darker, but not not like a sweet darkness. I think just the scent profile in general, when you're working with a powdery iris, can't really go completely fresh. It's always gonna have a slight dark tinge in the base. So that's kind of what I'm getting right now. I'll look at the notes in a little bit. I'll put them up on screen somewhere eventually. Let me just spray this for fun. Even though even though I only have 50 mils, I really need, I really want to just test this out. So there's just one spray. And one spray because I don't really have a back I don't have a backup for this and it's difficult to come across. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. So the Ohm, the original compared to the Ohm, well, a lot more full bodied and a lot sweeter, more powdery, not as fresh. You do get a little bit of an aromatic kick too, but it's, yeah, it's Irish through and through with a hit of bergamot at the top. Over here, it's a good balance between bergamot, some green ar aromatic hits, and the Irish that's very powdery, but it wears light, and obviously, I'm doing it with a dabber, so if I get a bottle in, I'll see if there's anything different, and then I'm all too familiar with the Omen Tense. I don't need to spray this. But I will because it just smells fantastic. So there's that. Oh god, yeah. The oral intense on my skin is just ridiculous. I have a review. Go look it up on my channel. I did it about a few months ago. And yeah, oh god, that's just that's just great. I mean, the oral intense, it's great for a reason. It may not be it may not be the best fragrance of all time, but for me and what I've smelled, it's easily the best designer fragrance I've smelled in the three years I've been collecting fragrances. I've tried at this point hundreds, somewhere around like 
two, three, four hundred ish fragrances. So obviously I have a lot more to go through and try, but still the best designer I've smelled. And honestly, this is probably my favorite designer line because of that iris note. I just love the note of that fantasy waxy lipsticky makeupy iris, powdery, very sweet ish not not overly sweet it's not like a stronger with you type of sweet it's not a one million type of sweet this is a sweetness with extreme class even though even though this says dior om you could you really could wear this anytime anywhere maybe not the absolute dead of summer that's where dior om o comes in but if you're looking for a designer line that really did something different for its time. Look at the, the original Dior Ohm line. I really, really want to complete it. It's just difficult to find every single one of them. I really want to try Dior Ohm Parfum. I've talked about this in some of my videos. I really, really want to try that so bad. And a, a lot of people say that's the greatest designer, designer fragrance of all time. And they might be right. They might be right. I just haven't had the opportunity to smell it. Not even at like duty freeze here in America. Yeah. But Dior Mo is a great scent so far. Obviously, I'm not going to get a full spray on experience. So I'm testing it from a 10 milliliter dabber. But I really like it. So there is Dior Mo. I It was a limited edition. And... I don't know. They should have just kept it. They could, they was really limited. Some people, some companies say limited edition and they're not really limited edition, you know? So this is one of them that was actually true to its word, true to its marketing. And if you have Dior Homme O, like a spray bottle, even if it's a 50 mil, you have a 100 mil, you're 150 mil. Let me know what you think about it because I've always wanted to try it. And I, because I really like the Dior Homme line, the original Dior Homme line. It wouldn't fit in the new Dior Ohm line uh, based off the 2020 DNA. But yeah, I just really think that Dior Ohm is possibly the best fragrance line in the designer realm that I've smelled. The original's fantastic. The intense is godly in some manners, in some regards. Always fantastic, even though this is the first time I've smelled it sport cologne parfum i need to try but i wouldn't be surprised if those fragrances are fantastic as well i know diorum cologne is a very hyped summertime fragrance so maybe i'll get a bottle of that i am going back to la for the summer and i really want to try it. it's supposed to smell like a lemonade and i love lemonade so let me know what you think about the diorum line now below subscribe to my channel for future content and until then i'll see you in the next one